who are looking for something to read for summer reading, Mr. Sean and I brought a couple different selections. But the first one I wanted to let you know is graphic novels. So would you believe that comic books count for summer reading? Supergirl. We just got Supergirl in last month. So if you wanted to read a comic book and you wanted like a girl superhero, love Supergirl, definitely one to keep in mind. You're going to notice a theme here. Also a graphic novel, maybe for some of my older friends. Big Nate, if you, probably in fourth or fifth grade, you have heard me talk about Big Nate for years. This is the newest Big Nate book that we have at the library. Big Nate, great minds think alike. So you know how much I love Big Nate, not that I don't love Diary of a Wimpy Kid, but Big Nate is so much better, and I'm sorry if you don't agree with me. For my younger friends who are just starting to read, we have Lego Friends books, so maybe my kindergarten or first grade friends who are just starting to read, these would be perfect books for you. And my last book is Baby Mouse. And again, my friends who've known me for a long time, I always talk about Baby Mouse. I love Baby Mouse. This is the newest one. <coughs> Happy birthday, Baby Mouse. I'll let you go now. Oh, it's my turn. Yes, but I might make comments about what you brought. Oh, okay. We all know that there's a couple of cool new Marvel movies coming out. Iron Man's one of my favorites. I like Iron Man as a superhero because, frankly, he doesn't have any superpowers. He's just smart enough to build a really awesome suit of armor. I like Thor the best. Thor's cool, but, you know, Iron Man's smart. I like Iron Man. This is a really good Star Wars graphic novel. Knight Errant is really, really good. And it's a, it's a nice, uh, quick read, but a really thrilling story. Just because books are short doesn't mean that they're just for little kids. Exactly. Got a couple more other Star Wars ones. Some things about Darth Vader you've never seen before. That's what, these, that's what these comics are about. A little bit of what's going on with Darth Vader just after he becomes Darth Vader. And then one of my all-time favorites. These are the Star Wars Infinites. Think about what ifs. What if Princess Leia was the Jedi instead of Luke Skywalker? What if She should Han have Solo... been anyway. Well, she ends up being a Jedi later. What if Han Solo never got frozen in carbonite? What if... Han Solo and Chewbacca were never friends. Am I still going to like the book if I didn't watch You're gonna the movies? You're going to love the book. You're okay. going to love the book. Just thought I'd ask. And I read some non-fiction books. I love Thunderstorms, and this is the right season I for it. I wanted to talk about the lightning book. Oh, you can talk about the lightning book. You want to talk together? Yeah. I think my lightning book is better than your lightning book. No, it's so not. Because my book is just about lightning. And, you know, you don't have to just read maybe the books that your teachers picked out for you in school. So if you really like science or lightning or thunderstorms or stuff like that we have all those books at the library and my lightning book is so much cooler than his thunderstorm book just reminding you of that mine packs a lot more it's a lot cooler and of course i got scorpions <gasps> i have tarantulas <gasps> yeah. mine's grosser still... than yours yeah but okay, mine's then. cooler i've got dingoes yeah, but I have vampire bats, and bats are so much better than a creepy-looking dog. Right? <laughs> bats, very cool, lots of great information. But dingoes, like, rule the outback in Australia. Yeah, no. Okay. I got box jellyfish. Portuguese man of war. Okay, you might have beat me on that one. <laughs> yes, because this is a really creepy, not actually a jellyfish, amazingly scary, <coughs> but I promise there aren't any in Lake Erie. But you still want to read the book anyway. How about a shark? Yeah, shark too. Oh. Ha. <laughs> Cockroach? Ew. Piranha. Oh, piranha. My piranha beats your cockroach. <laughs> I like piranhas. Anacondas. Tasmanian Devil, beat that. Oh. <laughs> Wild boars. <laughs> Alright, I think you got me. We just brought a little bit of what we have at the library, but we're hoping that all you guys are going to come and pick out lots and lots of books to read. You have flyers that will be going home with you from to give to your parents. 
And you need to remind your parents that they can read over the summer too, because they can get cool prizes for summer reading. And if they read to you, it counts for you because you listen and for them because you read. And so, it also counts if you read to your younger siblings. Don't forget that. Oh, I did forget that. So read lots of books, and we'll see you at the library starting June 2nd.